Love Biscuit here, and uh, yeah, we're playing some The Sims Medieval. I also have the expansion The Sims Medieval Pirates and Nobles. This is a game I've been anticipating for a very long time, and of course, I played a whole lot and had to reform out my computer and lost a whole bunch of shiz. So, I've only played a couple more times, and I decided to play a little bit with you guys too. I don't know, just for fun. Plus, I haven't really done a whole lot with you guys lately. So, we're gonna create a new one. We're gonna go with the traditional starting funds here. I mean, we could go princessy or barbarian, but I like the traditional. It's either that or we could go naked. Okay. We're gonna name our town Biscotopia. Good name, yeah? Awesome. All right, so welcome watcher. That's me, because I watch all of them. All right, to the newly founded kingdom of Biscotopia, after the throne room's construction, there were enough materials to continue. Choose a building and give it a hero. All right, well. I'm gonna go ahead and give us a barracks furnished. Saves me some time. Plus, I think the barracks is kind of important. Oh, Wayland, I kind of like you except for your outfit. All right. Um, yeah. So barracks is kind of important, I think. Protection of your kingdom. Gabriel Davison. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. Now uh, we'll just give you some random traits here. Ooh, I don't like those. All right. You know, we're just gonna do it ourselves. <laughs> All right. Um, the great thing about this is you choose two traits that are their good traits. And because he is a knight, I'm going to make him chivalrous and adventurous. Um, chivalry, chivalrous sims are kind, courteous, and loyal. Loyally adhere to the noble idea of courtly love. And then adventurous, adventurous sims are thrill seekers and love to go out on expeditions. The more dangerous, the better. Now, a great thing is you have current fatal flaws, which is kind of fun. I mean, you can make him be bloodthirsty. The bloodthirsty sims are always looking for a fight and will never back down from a challenge. You have to make him be a possible gambler, cruel, cowardly, um, all sorts of stuff. And I think I'm going to make him an insomniac because he works so hard, he doesn't sleep. Sins of the insom insomniac fatal flaw have difficulty falling asleep when they want to. Unfortunately, this means they are so tired during the day that they will sometimes fall asleep when they decidedly do not want to. So we're going to go with that one. And I really don't really care what he looks like make him be beefy though <laughs> all right we'll make him be a little older maybe all right and really i just like changing the clothing i'm very picky about my knights <laughs> all right we'll go with that one yeah i know i say picky and then i just pick one it's one of my favorite ones so because it has like the chain mail and all that. So now we're going to make a monarch. And I usually make the monarch me, even though I am technically the watcher. I don't know. It's just more fun that way. At least for me. Oh, you are a big man. You are a big lady. Alright, and we are going to name her Biscuit Love. I know it's backwards, but it's kind of funny. Okay. So I don't want her to have a lot of detail on her face meaning freckles. I don't want her to be young. And get this we're gonna go with that one. Don't want her face too red. I'm not. Oh. Okay, I'm not muscular, but I'm not teeny weeny either. I'm not, oh. you know, whatever. Okay, red right in there, I guess. All right, so we will choose her traits. Now, since she's a monarch, I like to give her eloquent. And let's see. I mean, there's a lot of them here, but I think since she is, we'll give her entitled. We're dedicated. Well, and I decided I kind of want her to be a drunkard, which means that she just likes to drink all the time. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to choose her hair, and I like to go for more of a monarch look, so I usually choose that one. I think that this one is just a little, um, I don't know, Princess Leia. I mean, for you, those of you that like that, go for it. Alright. Now, just leave her eyebrows, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to that one. Alright, and change her looks a little bit, because her nose is, like, insanely crazy. Alright. Um, let's see, a lot of these guys kind of suck. Alright, that one isn't so bad, I guess. Ooh. Yeah, none of these are really that great, are they? Oh, there we go, I like that one. That nose will work. 
changing her lips. Look at her lips. She's got a funny face. Alright, we'll go with that one. I'm gonna give her some makeup. Usually just pick what's here. Mm. Go with that one, and then her lips. Alright, we'll go with that one. Eh, good enough. Okay. <laughs> I'll pick her clothes. Um, let's see. I think I kind of like that one. There are all sorts of really neat ones. You got this one. And of course you can choose the colors any way you like. There's tons of them. Um, this one is so fancy. I like never have her in that though. Because it's just too fancy for me. I got this one, which is nice. I think it's more of a guest day to day look here. I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Alright. Alright, so now let's pick us a quest. We'll go with first steps. The dust finally settled on the construction of a grand throne room. The seeds of a glorious new kingdom had been planted, and soon a civilization would grow and cover the land for miles in all directions. The only thing Biscuitopia needed now was a ruler, someone wise and powerful who could unite people under the kingdom's cause. Alright. If you build it, they will come. Lady Biscuit. Alright. Apparently there's a criminal element. Boop. My throne room is finally complete. The builders have been working hard and the fruit of labors are evident. I should prepare to meet the Buildmaster Warren in quick... A quick jaunt upstairs to the mirror should suffice. Alright, so we'll go upstairs, find us a mirror. There we go. Am I supposed to gussy up? Yes. You gussy up. Do do do. Alright. Ah. And then, just for fun, we're gonna use the chamber pot. Wow, oh, she takes a while to do that, doesn't she? Oh my god! Perfect! Now I'm a little more focused. Staying focused will make it easier for me to complete any journeys in which I may find myself. Yes, she's tinkling. Speaking of which, I would seek out Buildmaster Warren of the Builder's Guild, a powerful pillar of the community, and discuss the future of Biscuitopia. Alright. Let's see, where is Warren? Downstairs, perhaps? Buildmaster Warren! I, I don't see anybody. Ah, people! There he is, alright. He just walks into my bathroom? The throne room's all done, my lady. We'll need more resources to begin the next building. The kingdom woodstone supplies will cover it. I do enjoy getting my hands dirty once in a while for the betterment of my kingdom. I should make my way to the forest and collect necessary wood. Alright, to the forest I go! And because I'm bored, I'm gonna make her go fast. Yeah, that's right. Get bored easy. Can't help it. Oh, come on. You can be faster than that. Do do do. Woohoo! Ah, oh, the forest much adventure awaits me in these woods. The wildflowers here are especially beautiful. I should collect some. One never knows when wildflowers will come in handy. Discover, because I think I need to do three of them, right? Hmm. Maybe not. Alright, we've discovered some wildflowers. God, don't take all day about it. <laughs> Alright, there are all kinds of plants one can across the kingdom, I believe wizard, physician, and spies use plants to make medicine or potions. Ah, here we go. Challenge force bandit Amber to a duel. Well, well, a victim has come to visit my force. You'd better come hand over your money if you know what's good for you. The bandit dares to threaten the queen? 
My trusty sword can bring the brigade to justice. Alright, so we are going to duel. Think you can beat me? We'll see about that. Alright. Yeah, look at that. I'm all badass in my outfit. And as you can see up here, that's how this works. Stamina goes down, health goes down. It gets whoever's health diminishes first. They pass out. Unless you choose duel to the death, which you can actually kill your monarch, and you better hope that you have a uh, heir to the throne, because <laughs> she conceded. Triumph. Bandits could really become a problem in Biscuitopia, but a knight or spy would curb that. Now I can collect wood in peace. Well, I already have a knight. Alright, so we're going to collect wood. And you are going to go fast, because I get bored. There was always adventure waiting to be found in the forest. The wood was collected and the kingdom would soon prosper from it. Boom! Alright. The wood would be perfect for the kingdom's next building project. The builder will also need stone. I can mine some in a cave by the graveyard. You know, can't I just pay people to do this? I am a monarch after all, right? Yeah. Right. Woohoo! Alright. Ah, my lady, can I have a word with you, please? Alright. Discuss grave digging. Oh, look at all these dead people. Alright. Well, my lady, I would just wonder if you would consider building a church here in the kingdom. It seems unceremonious to bury these people without a proper right from a Jacobian, Jacobin, or Peterin priest. Thank you, my lady. An interesting proposition. There are many things to consider when I choose what to build next. On that note, we need that stone. Do, 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 do. Aha! Biscuit collected stone while venturing deep in the endless network of tunnels. Eventually, she climbed down a sheer drop into a dark abyss. The bottom biscuit reached an underground lake. She stumbled over a small chest setting in a pond. What should Biscuit do? Open it or don't open it? I will open it. Alright. What do we get here? I found a small bounty of wet coins inside. That should be enough stone for the building. I should stop by the village shop next as I may need some supplies. Ah, my lady is... I don't know what's wrong with her. She's got all these things. She's fatigue. Oh god, you're sissy. Hold on. The shop sells plenty of good things. Ingredients, blah blah blah. So we will go to visit the shops. I don't think I actually need anything there. And you walk all the way to the village. Not sure why, when you could like, I don't know, have your own village. Let's see, do I need anything? I think so. Not now, anyways. Alright, done. A svelte lady approaches Biscuit, then bowed. I have heard word of your arrival, and your honor have prepared two gifts to help as you build your kingdom. However, I shall only give you one of them. The gift you receive depends on your answer to this question. What virtue would you rather bring to Biscuitopia? Safety or power? Um, I'd like to be safe. The lady nodded. Very good, very good, your highness. You are wise indeed. Do you have straight rhymes? Oh, okay, this guy needs help. All right, we'll check on his safety. So she gave me uh, Monarch's Armor of Fortitude. Yeah. All right, so... Now, let's see, there's a man in the town square. He pushed me in the mud and called me names. <laughs> oh, God, what a sissy. Okay. That must be him. Um, is it Monarch? It's into the stocks. Some time in the stocks will teach this bully to think before he acts. Constable's on his way. What? I just messing around. Hey. Ah, good to be queen. Everyone has their own way of going about these problems, though. I wonder how Wizard of Precision would have handled that bully. Alright, there's the constable. I came and got him. Oh, look at the little boy. I'll go to the judgment zone. Now the shame the bully had to twice before messing with my townsfolk. Alright, let's see. Throw egg. 
Yeah. Ah, it's good to be clean. I really need to thank you for responding to my plea for help. For your great kindness, I pledge to be your loyal servant from this day forward. I will wait in your throne room. Cool. Nope. Alright, better get her home. She's hungry and tired. Sissy. <laughs> Alright, I travel and merchants bring many luscious and succulent goods from your perusal. Please approach me for the most consummate service of your trade. Not to risk modest discouragement, but the sign of a practice bard is not only the melodious poetry of his musical composition, blah blah blah. Well, hello, good looking. Alright, so I have to choose between the girl and the boy. So I'm going with the bard because he's a dude. Alright, but first things first. Oh, wait. I'm gonna call for some food. Alright, now he's getting me some food. Alright, she needs some food. Wow, she's in her room. She really needs this place livened up a bit. Alright, now time for her to sleep. Oh, look, finally decided to get up. So, poke. Alright, let's go be friendly to this guy and ask about musical preferences and junk. Alright. We will bestow our favor. I'm trying to woo him a bit. That guy looks stinky. Alright. Nope, 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 I don't want a song. No. Wanted to give a flower. There we go. Woohoo! Sister Preach is most capable and most enchanted queen. Ah, the early boss of my love. I can't wait to see other handsome travelers that will come to Biscotopia. All right, let's give him our resources. These look great, your grace. Give me some time to take inventory. And now she has some time to herself. Apparently she needs a drink. There's got to be a place to get a drink up in here. What? Well, we are getting a dang drink in here. We want beer or we want wine? Beer. Alright, we'll put it there. Alright, good job. Yay. Your Bruce mail. I guess I could have just done a wine one. Now we're gonna get a drink. She needs one. She's a drunk. Yeah, let's get us some food before I go and uh, kill a bear. Oops. Does he have to always put my foot up here? Alright, now let's, let's go kill a frickin' bear. Yeah, right here. I have to hunt and kill a great bear. <sighs> Responsibilities are key to my rule. And perform them will keep me focused, and stay focused means I get more critical shit done. Alright, let's go hunt for a great bear. <sighs> She's batch for any four choice chunks of beef. Yeah! Alright, let's go back to the throne room. Now, the thing to remember is when you're doing these, you should be doing these too. Yeah, they end up having an X on it, and you get negative marks on it, and it's just no good. So I usually try to make sure that I do all of it. But the thing to also remember is to do the quests in a timely manner, or else you kind of fail them. Alright, establish an official apprenticeship program for the professions of craft hole, melt down excess Tridonian gold reserves to guild newly crafted arms and armor. We'll do that one. But, one thing to do is view all proposed. Is that the one? 
Aha, under edict support. Alright, so we're going to want to go with taxes for villagers who do not work within the bounds of the castle will be decreased. So, now we can call the vote, or you can wait the two hours. I usually just call the vote to get it over with. Not this one, because you want to pass one. So, yay, we won. So then that one goes away. Now, we need to write a letter of hire. Alright, sending this off to the message post. Now, what's really cool here is you use pigeons to send your letters. At least it looks like pigeons. <laughs> Show up once you rise, I'll ask her for your first piece of advice. So, ask world advisor. Ask for advice. She came quickly, did she not? <laughs> Lady, to be honest, the throne loom is a bit lacking. Alright, so she wants us to buy shit. I get it. We'll buy shit. Now we're like out of money. <laughs> Much better. Alright, so she liked that. Now we need to declare throne room open. Hey, you. you. Oh, I think I just need to click on me. It's not a bad idea to consider opening more relations with our neighbors. So, view our political situation. Let's see what our situation is here. So we're here. This is Tridoni and this is Craftol. I think it's just got a funny name. Let's see. Semi-loyal, semi-loyal. Both chicks. Oops. Discuss future of the kingdom with build master. What's his nuts? <laughs> Sold the number of territories. I can support speaking with Spanish. I wonder if build master one has finished taking his inventory of our resources. There are enough resources here. The builders are already. Only one quest remains, my lady. What will you build, Highness? Yay! So quest completed. Oh, we didn't get gold. What the bee hole? <laughs> All right. Anyways, guys, that's really all we're going to do today. I just kind of wanted to put a video out today because I kind of missed you guys. Yeah, I did. It's been a while. Got a lot of stuff going on for myself. But anyways, um, I don't know. I have fun playing this game. Just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of it. Maybe I'll play more. Or Tolan. But anyways, guys, I'm Love Biscuit, and I'll see you all soon.